What's up you guys? We are back with another makeup tutorial for 31 Days of Halloween. We're going to start this right off with putting in some yellow contacts and applying this foam latex prosthetic piece. So this foam latex prosthetic piece I'm just putting on with Prosade and then smoothing out the edges with Bondo, which is another adhesive which is thick, kind of like glue. Be sure to really seal off these edges. I definitely did not take my time with it and some of the edges have started to peel off, but I was only going to be wearing it for about an hour so it wasn't too much of a concern for me. What was a concern is making sure that the color is completely correct from the prosthetic to the skin. Usually you'll do a blood layer on a foam latex piece, but for this I'm just going straight in with this aqua blue avatar skin color. I'm starting out first with the water activated paint and then I'm going to go through with a cream colored paint to make everything more opaque and stand out. The really tricky part is to make sure that the yellow of the prosthetic does not off balance the actual skin tone. So we need to make sure that every color is exactly the same. Now we want the eyes to appear much larger than they actually are. So I'm going in with this blue to outline the new shape of my eyeball and then coloring underneath it yellow to match with the contact lenses. In the inner and outer corners of my eyes, I'm putting in some white to give it the illusion that it is still an iris and still an eyeball, just much larger than what it actually is. And then taking a dark blue eyeshadow, I'm going in and putting in those lines across the forehead to give it some sort of shadow and dimension. There are a few of these on the forehead, one on each side. They're pretty symmetrical, and I'm going in with a pencil brush to really darken these. I guess they're kind of like stripes. These avatar have stripes on them. Is it avatar or avatars? I don't know what the plural is, <laughs> but we're just going to call them avatar, just one plural. We also need to round out our cheeks to make our face just look longer than it actually is. So this whole process is creating illusion and making things look larger or smaller than they actually are than the regular face. So using these dark blue eyeshadows, I'm really chopping things off or making things seem larger. Now for the lips, I'm going in with this nude pink lip liner. And I think that I'm only going to be using a lip liner for this because they don't have very definite color in their lips, but they do have some of this nude pigment to them. So I'm just going to keep it simple with this nude liner. So this wig and this headpiece actually came from Amazon and it came with a set of ears. So I slid a hole in the back of the ears and put my actual ears inside and then kind of camouflaged it with the hair and the braids right in front. Having the uh, braids right in front of the ear kind of hides the seam and disguises the transition from real ear to the fake ear. <laughs> Now this headdress is going to be somewhat of a lifesaver if you're like me and didn't completely cover your edges correctly, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> anyway, grab this white eyeliner and create the white freckles that every avatar has. They're in many places, on the cheeks, on the nose, on the forehead, even on the chin. So look at a reference photo and see where you need to put your freckles or put them wherever you want, to be honest. And the last step, we are going to throw in these teeth. These are just regular vampire teeth that I purchased, but they're necessary for this avatar look because the avatar actually do have sharp teeth. And uh, that's about it. I'm darkening in some of the stripes to make them pop a lot more, probably going in and darkening in the eyes as well. But you're good to go. You are now the avatar. 